Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss Snowflake interview questions and answers. This is for 19th, 19th video from Snowflake interview questions and answers playlist. Please observe th this scenario. Here, create a replace table, orders table with two columns, order ID and order date and uh, here there are couple of insert statements for order id 1 one insert statement order 2 there are two insert statements for order 3 there are three insert statements like this after inserting select star from demo db dot public dot orders order id order date like this so only one row for order id two rows for order id 2 and day difference between min and max of order date 2 is 2 days and uh, for uh, 3 rows for order ID 3 and day in difference between min and max of order date is 5. Now question is write a query to get the below output using demo db dot public dot orders table mentioned in previous slide. See here this is the expert output ok. So for order ID 1 there is no gap only one row is there so one row for order order two we have you know uh, three days gap so first between first and third there are two difference but including you know uh, first and third we have a three days first second third and similarly for order id three we have three different rows but between min and max we have Total five five days gap including 10th and 15th. There are six days are there 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the answer here is the query to get expected output. Here I, I used with class and getting min, minimum date, max date, and I uh, used the here array generate range function from array object and this is the date difference getting the days group by all group by all means order id and select order id min order date order date min order date max order date and min order date plus two underscore number t dot value as new order date from table a a is the here cte table and here flattening the number of days for because for each order id the number of days will be flattening into rows so this is the query to get the uh, expected output this is the one of please note that this is the one of the way to get the expected output you can write same in other ways also next question is it possible to apply row access policy or masking policy on virtual column in snowflake the answer is no if you try to uh, create we are going to get the below error if you see here this is the table t1 and this is the virtual column okay and here uh, the column kind is the virtual it's not actual column so alter table table name add row access policy demo db dot public dot rap is the my row access policy on column so the error is SQL compilation error row access policy cannot be attached to a virtual underscore column column. So this is the error we are going to get when you try to assign row access policy or masking policy to virtual column. See here alter table table name modify column set modify column column name set masking policy policy name. So the error is compilation error masking policy cannot be attached to virtual column column question 3 is it possible to apply row access policy and masking policy on same column in snowflake answer is no if you try to apply assume that you are already applied the masking policy on table t and column i then you are trying to apply the row access policy in this case column i cannot be used as policy argument because it is masked by another policy 
okay assume that another scenario like you already applied the access policy and then you are trying to apply the masking policy then what is going to happen alter table table name modify column i set masking policy demo db dot public dot policy name here if you see column i cannot be masked because it is used as argument by one or more masking or row access policies that means we cannot apply either uh, if already is there any one of the masking policy like a masking policy or row access policy question 4 how many email notifications can we define for a given snowflake account the answer is 10 we can define we can define a maximum of 10 email notification integration for a given account if you try to create more than 10 here is the error we are going to get sql compilation error value for parameter integrations of type email exceeds maximum allow allowable value 10 next question how to get the list of how to get the list of primary key keys for the specified table or for all tables in the current or specified schema or for all tables in the current or specified database or for all tables in the current account okay answer is here so by using the show primary keys we can get the primary key columns list along with the column name and table name in the uh, account level or database level or schema level or table level or particular table so if you see here show primary keys in database and then after executing that select star from table result scan of last query id so here if you see database name schema name table name column name and key sequence and constraint name there are other some columns are there i couldn't paste here so these are the basic information when you are going to get the uh, primary key columns by using the show primary keys in database level so here if you see for department table we have department number and key sequence is the first uh, you know primary key column as part of that uh, pk underscore department and if you see employee employee there is a employee number and uh, employee one there is a p and if you should test we have a two columns column one and column two as part of the primary key that means composite columns and column one is the uh, key sequence is the first column and column three is the second column as part of the primary key yeah thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel like it and share it to your friends Thank you once again.